Chris, they just said you're going to put something really positive on this result today. So, far away. Okay, well, I'll probably be the only one singing this, but we are top relief. Say we are top relief. No, no, you, so <laughs> straight away. <laughs> Everyone's laughing at me, but so we are. So, DT was very angry about people singing that. He's saying that uh, in October we should not sing it. No, but it's a fact that we are top of the league. No, but he said we shouldn't be singing it in October. Well, sing it in May. He drains the life out of being an Arsenal supporter, so let him say that. <laughs> but, you know, if I'd have told you after the Liverpool home game that it would be top of the league in October, you would have bitten my hand off, wouldn't you? Yeah, and, true. you know, we kept a clean sheet saying, based on the balance of today's game, it was a good point. I know you, it was a, a good bad, point. A bad, no, it's a bad point before the game. Mm. On reflection of the game and the chances, it was a good good point mm. they had the better chances they had 11 shots to our nine and Czech saved us on numerous occasions down on another day they should have they should have won mm. and you, you need know, to be worried about um us defensively at the moment past couple of weeks a lot of little stupid errors coming in today because today with them a, a massive one a real lapse of concentration and Mustafi had to make like literally a rugby tackle to retrieve it I mean We've got to start tightening up in defence. I mean, we've got bigger teams coming here, like Spurs. They'll exploit that. Generally, overall, I'm actually. I think we've been quite solid. I know we've mm. been given chances away, but you also have to give credit to the opposition in creating those chances. We're not going to have every game where the opposition doesn't create any chances. And you know, I think we're coming into today's game with a bit more uh, too much arrogance, like just writing off middle spurs. They're not Ludogorets. Mm. They are a decent team, especially defensively, um, and they've done well away from home this season. I think they'll stay up. Mm. They've got a very good manager, Aitor Karanka, and you know, don't forget that we played two and a half days ago, 90 minutes, and they've had a whole week to prepare. For this. I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying facts, and you know. Uh, but enough about the, uh, about us. And I, I just think we might have got the selection wrong a little bit today. Like mm. playing two defensive midfielders at home is a bit negative, and especially out of the four players that we can have in that, that mm. those positions, Cochrane and Nelny are two of the more defensive-minded of those two. And we could, you know, um, when we have 74% possession, Cochrane is surplus to requirements. Unfortunately, I mean, he's got many attributes, but. Um, and his passing has improved this season, but creativity is not one of them. And I'm sure many people have mentioned that <laughs> Cazorla was a mistake, but we still should have been able to win without Cazorla, especially mm. at home. And, you know, I think maybe Perez could have got, I'd much rather play two strikers than two defensive midfielders mm. at home against teams like this. And, you know, you, we talked about Giroud the other day. I think if he was playing, or even if he came off the bench, we would probably won. But today was tailor made for him. But it was like mm. that physical battle up front. There's too many chip passes into uh, Sanchez uh, where he's playing against two giants and we kept on crossing the ball in. Giroud would have thrived on that physical mm. battle, but I'm not going to get too downhearted because we've just won six out of the last seven. And, you know, so we've won every game in the league this season, apart from the first two. We're not going to win 36 in a row. Every team is going to drop points this season. Man City will, every other team will, you know. So we are still in a good, solid position and we can kick on from here. People like Theo Walcott is absolutely fantastic. OK, he didn't quite do it today, but he's been marvellous. Ozil was marvellous in the week, as you know, he got his hat-trick. There's so much to be positive for, but today, um, unfortunately, they weren't so much on their game. 